This is insane. Good morning. It's day five of our trip, I think. We're here in the Tatra Mountains. I have to be very fast because the bus is already coming and we have to go. You can see it right behind me. Here is the bus. So this is the amazing hut where we slept last night. I keep forgetting the Slovak names of places. This here is Propatsko Lake. And today we're going to go much up even higher to 1600 meters above sea level, I think, to the, the, a place called the Green Lake. There is a mountain hut there. And we will reach it through a very spectacular, like a chairlift. But it's a suspended chairlift which hangs above the cliffs. By the way, he's there, I didn't get the time to like, walk around the hut on the other side. Let's see what's over there. I think I'll wake up. There was a great tea in the hut. It was all included with our rooms. Like you can get a, a bunk bed or with other people, obviously, or you can get a, a room. And the rooms came with dinner and breakfast, which was pretty nice, especially with the Tatra tea, Slovak alcohol that I showed you yesterday. Wow, look at this. Let me rotate the camera. So in the morning we had very nice tea and coffee and the breakfast was actually very high quality especially for a mountain mountain hut I enjoyed it pretty much look at this view this is also the view from most of the rooms as you wake up beautiful I have to run now let's see what lies ahead for us today And now we go there. Oh, it's actually running. We're going to be on this one on the left. And go high up there in the clouds. You have to see the second chairlift. It's much more amazing than this one. Let's go. We are about things. We are in the lift. You know what's weird? No. I cannot get both our faces in the shop because you're shorter. Uh -huh. So it's either me or you. No. Or, or I should turn it like like this. Okay. But it's weird because then the background is tilted to the side. But yes, we are the things and we are traveling in this strange uh, cable car, chairlift, gondola, or I don't know how you call it. I see different names for it. It's, it's strange because the speed is variable, so it, uh, it it moment goes faster and then slows down. And hopefully, at one time we will reach the top. Still, ah, it's okay. Uh, 
So here we are on the second cable car, which is actually not the last one. Do you see the peak back there? This is Lomnički Štit, which translates as Lomnički Shield. The second car is going to take us to the third one, which has been built almost 100 years ago and you definitely have to check it out. To lift me is a little bit strange. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to the middle station here in the high Tatra mountains in Slovakia. This is it. We just came from downwards with a somewhat normal chairlift and from here it's the next look at this. It goes on this cable and reaches up the top over there. I cannot even imagine it right now. It comes every 20 minutes and it goes there in the sky in the clouds. That's gonna be amazing. Here we are on the third cable car, the one which happens to be one of the most amazing technological achievements I've ever seen. Bridging a gap of almost one kilometer, this line doesn't have even one supporting structure between its two stations, with the upper one located at 2634 meters above sea level, harboring the highest located inhabited place in the country. The line has survived the Second World War as well as quite a few accidents over the years, but I will leave the details because the truly captivating thing for me was just the feeling to be hanging on a single steel rope amidst those rocks. And here we are approaching the upper station and the view is mind-blowing. This place is absolutely insane. I cannot even begin to imagine how, how they built the lift house here. <laughs> Just look at where it is. It's right on the top of everything. I'm going to make a time-lapse video from here. It's going to be stunning. Well, We are hiking in the Tantra Mountains, as usual, I prefer not to speak too loudly, even though there is nobody around me right now. I have my proper hiking shoes, a nice hiking pole, which also doubles as a tripod. I can remove this thing up here. And uh, <laughs> weird thing is I got my drone, but once we went through the first two, uh, chairlift, so I figured out I had forgotten my propellers. So it's a good thing somebody else from the group actually has a drone and I was able to fly his drone up at this peak. And uh, now I have to bear the burden of carrying my drone with me through the whole hiking part of the trip, but that's fine. This is a sense of freedom. Those flying guys <laughs> in the clouds and the clear air and just being here look at that guy
This is nice. name you know, in a while because right now I'm just here I'm not checking information I'm not doing anything I'm just, I'm just here tremendous place look at those peaks over there I'll take a few shots because I have to run with the group. After submitting this, we need to go down. About 1000 meters, well, no, it's more like 600 to the mountain chalet, which is somewhere down there by the Green Lake. Let's go. Oh, I see it's, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> 